Hello, and welcome to, Today in History, I'm your host, Abdalman El Dara, and I'm excited to take you on a journey through some of the most significant historical events that occurred on this day in history so let's jump right in. On September 6, 1901, President William McKinley was assassinated at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York. He succumbed to his wounds on September 14, leading to Theodore Roosevelt becoming the 26th President of the United States. On this day in 1944, a historic event occurred during World War II when Germany launched the first long-range V-2 missile at an Allied target. This technological milestone marked a critical development in missile technology and had far-reaching implications for the future of warfare and space exploration in the post-war era. On September 6, 1949, Howard Unruh went on a shooting spree in Camden, New Jersey, killing 13 people in what became one of the earliest mass shootings in the United States. On September 6, 1966, South African Prime Minister Hendrik Vervoort, who was known for implementing apartheid policies, was assassinated in Cape Town. On September 6, 1991, the Soviet Union recognized the independence of the three Baltic states Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania, officially ending their decades-long occupation. On September 6, 1997, funeral services were held for Princess Diana at Westminster Abbey in London, following her tragic death in a car crash. That's it for today's episode of Today in History. I hope you enjoyed learning about these significant events that took place on this day throughout history. Join me again tomorrow for another exciting episode. Thanks for watching.